Hi, I'm Jo from JH Leather and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own leather belt. Let's get started. So first of all we're going to set our strap cutter to the width of our belt and cut a strip of leather and to go with that leather you're going to want a buckle and some leather looping okay so to start with it we're going to find the best end of our leather so there are a few different ways to do this but the easiest one is to fold over both ends of the leather and then the best end will have the smoother finish when you turn it back because the grain is tighter So once you've done that, square the end and then we're going to cut an egg point. And so once we've done that we're going to mark out our hole so the first hole is two inches from the end and then we're going to mark seven holes in total and they're going to be one inch apart if you're doing a wide belt like a one and a half inch wide belt you might want to do yours two and a half inches to the first hole so once you mark your holes you then want to mark the overall length of your belt so put the overall length on that middle hole and then mark the other end and then square that up And we're going to add two and a half inches to the end for the buckle turn. And so we're going to square this off and cut another egg point. So now our belt's cut out, we can number one edge around the whole of the grain side of our belt. And then we just want to mark onto the flesh side the overall length of our buckle turn. So that's going to be double the length from the end to where the sort of crew is going to be. And then we're going to edge on the flesh side everywhere except underneath that buckle turn. So for this side I am actually using a number three hollow edge edge tool uh, just because I like that it's a little bit more round and it gives a nice feel to the finish of the belt. So once we've done edging we can then stain and polish our belt. And then once we've done that we're going to crease around the whole of our belt. And now we've done that we can then set our divider so we can mark some tram lines for our crew punch to follow. And you can just offer up your crew just to make sure that they're set to the right distance. 
and if not you can make them wider or smaller as necessary. But once you're happy you can then punch your crew all the way through. And then using a number six edge tool you want to take out the back of that crew punch there and that just allows the buckle tongue to sit nicely in the turn. So once you that we are going to pop the buckle in the turn and then we're going to mark for our stitch marking so we want that as close to the buckle as possible. So mark that with your thumbnail and then even it up with your set square. We can now set our dividers to our stitching width and draw between these two marks. So mine is about an eighth of an inch. And once you've done that, you can then stitch mark your belt. So I'm using a number seven stitch marker for this. And once you've done stitch marking, we're just going to skive the end of our turn down to half thickness. And cut our looping to the right side. So to do this, you just want to wrap your strip of looping around your strap. And then where the ends meet, you just want to mark with your thumbnail and then cut this off. And we can now assemble our belt together. So we're going to pop a tack in further down the turn to start with just to hold everything in place. And then we want to basically put our looping in the middle sort of lined up with the centre of the crew and mark the edge and that'll be sort of where we want it to stick out to when we tack that in. And now we can stitch our belt. So we're going to do a double hand stitch this and we're going to start with one back stitch. And then we're also going to loop our threads over the top here just to get that turn nice and tight. And then we're just going to continue double hand stitching our belt as normal. So when we get near the end of stitching our turn here, we want to actually pre all the last three or four holes where our loop is going to be. It just makes it easier when the loop is in to then stitch through it because you already have the holes there to guide your all through. So once you've pre-ordered it, you can then stick your loop in and then stitch through this bit. Remembering to put your thread through the loop to get it to the other side and don't stitch over your loop.
and when we get to the end we're going to do one stitch over the edge and then we're going to go one and a half stitches back And once you've done that, you can then trim your threads. And we're now going to block the loop with our looping stick. So you don't want to stick this in too far because if you have the loop too big, then it's not going to do anything. And also too tight, your end of the belt isn't actually going to go through. So once you've got your looping stick in where you want it to be, you can then do your finishing touches. So we're going to restain our belt and polish it. And once you've done that, you can then recrease around your turn. So do the back of the turn first whilst the loop and stick is still in because I'm sure flatten the loop. And then take your looping stick out and recrease underneath where that was and the rest of the belt. And then we're going to even up our holes with our dividers. And the last thing we're going to do is to punch our holes. And there you have your final belt. So hopefully you've got something that looks a little bit like this one. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I shall get back to you. Also, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And I shall see you in the next episode. Oops.